DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. The DNA can be found in almost every single cell in our bodies. It is literally the instructor that commands what eye color you have, how tall you'd be to how short you'd be, what hair texture you have, or even if you're born with your eyebrows being perfectly on fleek or not. We have over 3,200 million nucleotides. That's these base pairs in the middle. And it's a different combination of these base pairs that produce the major and minor differences that we see in each other. Think of the nucleotides like letters that produce words and eventually a beautiful story which is you. And your parents being co-authors seeing similarities from both. Think of your DNA like our fingerprints. Like our fingerprints, no two DNA are the same. But what about identical twins? Don't they have the exact same DNA? True, identical twins have the exact same DNA. But there's been cases where twins have been split up from birth and grown up in two different environments to grow up to look completely different from each other inside and out but how is this the case if the DNA is exactly the same well this comes down to a phenomenon of environmental effects on the mysterious epigenome or epigenetics epigenetics is basically a system that works above the DNA it tells the DNA how to express itself the DNA stays fixed in our lifetime and doesn't change, but epigenome does. And it changes due to what we eat, how often we eat these things, what chemicals we expose ourselves to, how active we are. And what they do is send stimuli to the epigenetics to switch on certain genes or switch off certain genes accordingly. The weird thing is that our mental state and emotional state can actually imprint itself on our DNA and these imprints can be passed on to our offspring that's pretty strange there's been research done by geneticists and neuroscientists in these fields what they found that fear to certain stimuli can be passed on to generational offspring for example they had a mouse they put this mouse in a vicinity of a smell called acetophenone. Every time they put this smell in the vicinity, they shot the mice, producing a fight or flight response. And eventually, these mice created an epigenetic tag to this stimuli, creating fear deep into their DNA. These, off, these mice had mated together and had offspring and these offspring when put in the vicinity of the same smell acetophenone they, they exhibited the same fight or flight response without the nurture of their parents because they separated them from birth that is pretty strange no need to worry the same way we put epigenetic tags in place the same way we can change them with the new information technology such as 23andme in the future we will be able to analyze our own dna and find out different things that we individually are susceptible to so we can perhaps maneuver against them adapt against them or make better choices in what we eat what we do where we expose ourselves to etc 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 the future is bright to be honest with technologies coming out and you know the saying one man's poisoning is another man's bread this is the same for our dna 
how many times have you seen some, um, cases where one person can eat the exact same meal as another person but this person can put, can put on much more fat than another person this only has a little what from what we know has a little part to do with epigenetics but there's so many different variables out there that contribute to different things so remember when stressed stay calm and make better choices because your epigenetics may be counting on it thank you if you want to find the description of all the things i spoken i spoke about in the research check in the description below until next time au revoir <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.